Hello and welcome to my little video. This will be a short video in which I will teach you how you can scale your parts to make them larger or smaller or if you wanted to make them wider or taller. So we'll be using two commands. Let me show you. The first one is scaling and the second one is affinity. You can find them in transformation features. If you don't have it, you can find it all the way right here. So right click on this, then go all the way down and you can find it here. Checked. All right, so I'm using a little piston head that I made as a reference. We want it to be smaller, so two times smaller. First, before we can do anything, we need to make a dot. It's like a reference point for us. So let's quickly go into this plane and select the zero coordinates, zero, zero, and put our dot there. We have our dot. Now we can select our scaling command. Before we do that, let's first select everything. Everything is selected. We could also just select one of these parts, anything really, but select part bottom. Now select scaling. We've selected what we want to scale, and now Cat is saying select a reference point or plane to scale on. So let's select this dot. Now we have the ratio. We can make it two times bigger, but we want to make it smaller by two times. So that will be 0.5. If we want it to be bigger, we would select the ratio to be just 2. So we want it to be small. There you go. Now, a common mistake people can make is selecting scaling, first select the body, and then scaling, and they select the plane. If, for instance, you select the X and Y plane, you can only now decide the height. So let's say we want it to be double the size, and we got just the height. This width did not change. So, let's select our other command and see what affinity does. So, first things first, if we select affinity, it, so it asks us to select our axis system to start with. So we need a point, a plane, so select the X and Y plane, and an axis. So let's select the H or the horizontal of an axis. And now we can select our ratios. Do we want the width to be changed or the uh, height? So let's make it the height to be 0 0.5 and let's make it the width 2. So now it should be the normal height again but now it should be wider if we do this. So let's select OK and as you can see it became the normal height it was at the beginning but now it's wider. Now if you want it back to normal all you can do is just delete the affinity. If you delete it it will be back to normal. We again have the two scaling points if you want it to get back to normal. You just delete scaling and now we have it. We have the first scaling which made it smaller so I'll keep that here because I actually need it. That's it for this short little video. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope it helped you and showed you the basics of these two commands. Good luck on your project and bye bye.